folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm on my daily uh, 10,000 a day steps walk. Again, I'm nearly coming to the end of it now. And um, I'm down on North Promenade. I'm down on um, lower walk here, or middle walk, I should say. And I just um, noticed that the um, some of the colonnades just behind me there, I'll just turn the camera around and show in a minute, are actually uh, cordoned off and uh, got supports. Now, I wonder what's going on in then, folks. Well, as you can see, they're um, quite plainly they're barriered off, so you can't actually walk up or walk down at the moment. So I'm on um, middle walk here, and uh, you clearly see there's some support, some support uh, like RJ things type things that you support walls with on there as well. Which excuse wind noise. Wind in Blackpool is normal. Yeah, I'm approaching the. Um, Colonnades now. From this end, they're clearly um, blocked off. Now then, how's like that then? Wish I was a workman to tell me what is actually going on here. I can clearly see there's no access. You can see the supports there. You know, I'm wondering, folks, I'm wondering if it's like that um, dodgy cement, you know, that was, that was like back in the 60s, that's been on the news a lot, that, I think it's, that's rack, that's called. I can't, me I remember what it's, <laughs> I can't remember what it um, stands for, but it's R-A-K, rack, uh, that dodgy concrete. I wonder if there's anything to do with that, I wonder. I wonder if these colonnades are um, actually crumbling away. So I'm going to get a bit lower down, see what can, uh, if they're actually... Um, all the way along here, so long, how, how far they go up to before you can get up, actually get up to the uh, higher level there. You see the, um, where I, where the, where the location I am, we've got the, uh, the old Hilton Hotel there, down the bottom there, and you've got the, um, just outside the Imperial Hotel there. Someone's got a drone. <laughs> oh, I love drone. I love a drone myself. But maybe one day. Anyway, I so say you've got the uh, Imperial Hotel there, and this is where it starts, where it's, uh, access is blocked. Yeah, it's actually blocked this end as well, folks. So this whole section is um, is actually cordoned off. Let's see if there's any more of it, um, any more cold enough further up. Yeah, a few yards up, folks, and it's still, still buried her off this fencing. Most strange. Well, there's definitely something going on. Though these colonies haven't got supports like the other one back there, I'll show you earlier. Cordoned off here as well. Well, folks, I just stopped the workman in his van. I just wonder what's. I uh, just asked him what's going on there, mate. And um, basically, he said, "Well, nothing to do with that dodgy rack concrete." I think it's a good thing, really. Basically, he said, um, "Sorry about the wind noise." Basically, he told me that it's. Um, just the uh, brickwork is crumbed on the way and it's just um, basically been put up there for people's safety really um, so they're in the process of repairing them so that uh, that solves the mystery of that then doesn't it <laughs> yeah I just wonder what I was come down here for walk for what's going on folks yeah crumbed on concrete apparently Anyway, before I wrap this vlog up, just thought I'd uh, show you the uh, the sea. As you can see, it ties in. Heading towards um, North Pier myself at the moment. To do a few more steps before I turn around and go home. 
It's not a bad day really, it's um it was sunny earlier on, it's a bit overcast there, it's forecast rain later, unfortunately. Yeah. Not too bad really. Still a little bit chilly. Doesn't seem to be any warmth in here, do it? You know, it's like spring. It's always a bit warmer than this. Hey oh. Easter's a couple of days away, good Friday tomorrow. I just love the sound of the waves lapping on the shoreline. I love that sound. love that sound well folks I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here before I forget um, do you want a big shout out to uh, Frank and Carol I met uh, Carol last night uh, at the cinema, went to see the new Ghostbusters film in the Backlot Cinema. Really good film. I could recommend the Backlot Cinema to anyone. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a bit more pricey than other cinemas, but they've got that a great vibe, as, as Blackpool would, Black, Blackpool Bell would say. Got a great vibe, and it has. So I highly recommend going to the Backlot Cinema, folks. Absolutely fantastic night. Anyway, um, getting back to uh, subject today. Yes, as I said earlier, I just asked one of the um, workers down there, one of the council workers, say what's going on with the colonnades that are um, wet, fenced off. As I said, it uh, they're roped off for safety reasons, basically, because um, crumbling concrete. I thought at first that's that dodgy rack stuff, but in the case, he said it's just a year, they've been there years, and um, just every day wear and tear really on anything really I suppose he said you've got the trams trundling up and down the vibration going through the through the colonnades as well so they're they're fenced off for uh, public safety basically really and they do plan to to, um, to repair them in due course well you know the council <laughs> maybe next Easter <laughs> I don't know yeah anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up here as I said that was a quick short video to see what's going on um, Thought, what's, I'm on me walk for what's going on here folks um, so yeah uh, please like and subscribe hit the notification bell up the corner there next time uh, so you get notifications so anything cool is going on here well anything really in Blackpool or beyond anywhere else really I'm actually on my way uh, on my holidays next week so I'll do some filming on my holidays down south to see my family really looking forward to that Anyway, that's enough of my waffle. Um, yes, I hit the notification bell, hit the more videos and upload and see what's going on. And on that note, folks, I will see you on the next video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.